This is BayAreaSportsWeekly.com. San Francisco 49ers postgame wrap here at Candlestick Park in San Francisco, which is the final home opener for the Niners 2013 season. They're defending NFC champion San Francisco 49ers defeat the Green Bay Packers 34 to 28 in this long series rivalry between these two from the NFL's proudest franchises since the rivalry began back in 1995 from the mid late 90s on and this was not and fans 49 people did not go home disappointed the Niners uh in the game um, uh, it was a great afternoon for Colin Kaepernick 412 yards passing average of 15.3 yards completion rating um, he's the first 49er quarterback to pass for over 400 yards since Tim Rattay did that back in October of 2000 Tim Rattay and then also um, having a great day was Anquan Bowden, 208 yards. Welcome receptions. to the Niners! Receptions. And he had a touchdown. Also, Vernon Davis um, had two touchdown receptions. He had um, over 90 yards of receptions. Frank Gore, 21 carries for only 44 yards. He did get a touchdown. Also, uh, having great days um, for the Green Bay Packers. Um, Reggie Cobb, 107 yards uh, completion, one touchdown. Also, Jordy Nelson, a lot of questions going into this game. Will Jordy Nelson be able to uh, play week one against San Francisco? He did. He had a great day over city expectations. Six receptions for 130 yards and two touchdown Ooh. receptions. Also, uh, overrated. Lacey, um, had a great day. His first NFL uh, touchdown uh, also in the uh, for um, Anquan Bowden in his first regular season day before he nice 208 yards. And uh, we got some 49 fans um, with their thoughts of the game. Uh, uh, what are your thoughts um, on uh, today's game? I thought it was a great game. Fortnite's play great. Clay Matthews is a douchebag. But I think we did good. Or D bag, we should D-bag, say. D bag, sorry. The D bag. I mean, yeah, we got to keep it clean because it's, um, it's PG rated the kids, though. But D bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. D bag. He's a really good player. We did a good job, though. We won the game in the long run. That's all that matters. And I think another thing that I actually did improve on the finishing plays, and they were, um, were hit with 11 penalties, though. Just. Uncharacteristic sloppy penalties. play. And, you know, that's got to they got to got to clean it. Got to clean it up. And uh, some other points for the point air game. Um, they need to um, improve on their time management. Time management is the best thing. That's where you go to school and you have those instructors teach you about time management. Well, the Niners need to go back in that study room in the study hall on the film and talk about more of time management, getting the plays off and not getting the wasting timeouts. Because when you start wasting timeouts, that's like giving away your. Uh, giving up your get out of jail free cards so you know but the win's a win um, and with the win the are one and oh other nfc west uh according to uh, the uh saint the seattle seahawks uh holding on to beat the carolina panthers and down in carolina charlotte and the rams trailed late in the fourth quarter against the saint or the, the arizona cardinals at the Edward Jones Dome, they score 14 unanswered points. They win by a score of 27, 20, 24. So the Niners will have the big showdown next Sunday night. The Niners will take on the Seattle Seahawks in a Sunday night national game, which will be televised on NBC. Kickoff time is at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for all the latest 49ers news and so much more, you can watch this on uh, BayerSportsWeekly.com and it's also on YouTube. Type in Bayer Sports Weekly and all for the pictures and other stuff. Um, go to Facebook.com slash 49ers Empire and Facebook.com slash Bay Area Sports Weekly. Report from Candlestick Park. Final score this afternoon on Sunday, week one of the National Football League. You're defending NFC champions, San Francisco 49ers, to beat the Green Bay Packers 34 to 28. Bayersportsweekly.com, the exclusive network of the home of the city of champions. Wow.